One important question about meal is how does it actually blunt the rise in blood sugar that can happen after a very high carbohydrate meal? Now there's several critical ways. First of all, the gel that forms in your stomach after you've had a scoop or two of Mila uh, is an actual physical barrier. So it's harder for carbohydrates to be digested and to make their way into the bloodstream. So that blunts the rise in blood sugar. The second is when you look at the quality of carbohydrate uh, that is a basic part of chia, it just is dissolved more slowly according to top scientists at the University of Maine. This means that also you blunt that rise in blood sugar. Now you can measure this through what we call glycemic load. That is, you can uh, actually rate various carbohydrates. For instance, a very fast-burning carbohydrate that gets into the bloodstream quite quickly and rises sharply might have a score of 100. Chia scores only one. So for those three reasons, the rise in blood sugar that you would have with a fast-burning carbohydrate like white sugar is blunted with chia, and specifically with mia, so that uh, you have more control of your blood sugar. And that may be very important as research goes on in terms of patients who have diabetes and patients who are trying to control their weight.